Hi everyone, welcome back to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be starting a new video series on the channel talking about football and rivalries. And uh, today the first rivalry that I'll be talking about is the East Anglian Derby between Ipswich Town and Norwich City. I'll be talking about the history between these two clubs, some matches that stand out and some other facts about the rivalry. So the East Anglian Derby, Ipswich Town against Norwich City, Ipswich Town from Suffolk and Norwich City from Norfolk. The two clubs are only located 40 miles apart from each other and if you've got a car that's about an hour's drive so not very far between these two clubs at all. And these two sides have their own histories going back with Ipswich Town, they've won the Ald First Division once, they've won the FA Cup once and they've also won the UEFA Cup in the 1980-1981 season. As for Norwich City, they've won the League Cup twice in 1962 and 1985 and their highest ever league finish came in the 1992-93 Premier League season where they came third and as a result they qualified for the UEFA Cup. The first derby was held between the two clubs on the 15th of November 1902 when both sides were still playing at an amateur level. The Norfolk and Suffolk League fixture was played in Norwich and finished 1-0 to Norwich City. Norwich turned professional in 1905 with Ipswich following in 1936. Ipswich Town was elected to the Football League in 1938 and the first league game between the two clubs took place on the 2nd of September 1939 in the 3rd Division South. Played at Portman Road, the match finished 1-0 although the league was abandoned a few days later following the outbreak of the Second World War. As the clubs have tended to play in the same division over the years, the derby has been contested in more seasons since this time. The longest gap being a period of six years between 1987 to 1992. Following Norwich's promotion to the Premier League and Ipswich Town's relegation to League One at the end of the 2019 season, the two teams were at least a division apart until Ipswich's promotion back to the Championship at the end of the 2023 Championship season. With the fixture on the 16th of December 2023, the first time the derby had been contested since February 2019. Two of the most notable meetings between the two clubs have come in cup competitions. In the 1972-73 season, Ipswich Town beat Norwich 4-2 on aggregate to win the two-legged Texaco Cup final winning both matches two goals to one. In the 1985 season, the clubs met in the semi-final of the League Cup with a place in the final at Wembley at stake. Ipswich won the first leg 1-0 at Portman Road, but Norwich scored early in the return leg at Carroll Road to level the tie. With extra time looming, Steve Bruce scored a late winner to send Norwich to Wembley. In the 2014-2015 season, there were four East Anglian derbies because the sides met in the two-legged championship playoff semi-final in addition to the regular league matches. Norwich won both league matches that season, then the two sides would play in the playoffs which were held on the 9th and 16th of May. The first leg finished one all at Portman Road and the second leg finished with Norwich taking their third derby victory of the season by winning three goals to one and therefore booking their place in the playoff final at Wembley. The derby has been contested 115 times in competitive matches. 58 of those have been played at Ipswich and 57 at Norwich. In these, Norwich have won 47 times and Ipswich 45 times, with 23 matches ending as draws. Including friendlies and testimonial matches, in total there has been 148 derbies contested with Ipswich winning 60 of those and Norwich winning 58 with 30 matches being counted as draws. The highest attendance in the derby at Portman Road is 35,077 for a first division match in September 1975 whilst Carroll Road hosted 39,890 for an FA Cup match against Ipswich in January 1962. The biggest Recorded victory in the derby has been by Ipswich Town on three occasions where they beat Norwich City 5-0. This occurred in 1946, 1977 and 1998. 
in terms of players that have played for both Ipswich and Norwich, there's actually been quite a few. I was looking at the list, but I'll just read off a couple of names from a, a site that said that these are the 10 best players that have played for both Norwich and Ipswich. Uh, they've got David Wright there, Louis de Norway. We've also have Alan Lee, Alan B. Driver, Keith Birchin, Trevor Putney, John Dean, Andy Marshall, Peter Morris, and Clive Woods. Another interesting stat that I found is that it's been over 14 years since Ipswich Town won a derby. Their last win was on the 19th of April 2009, a 3-2 win at Portman Road, and they have not won at Carroll Road since the 5th of February 2006. Former referee Keith Hackett said of the East Anglian derby, as for the most aggressive atmosphere that I've ever encountered, believe it or not, it was at Carroll Road for Norwich against Ipswich. There are certain derby fixtures that you always know are going to be highly charged, but the East Anglian derby tops the lot. The players come out of the tunnel and as if they were ready for a boxing match, the noise was intense and very aggressive. And Rob Hadgraft, who wrote The Old Farm, suggested some reasons for the intensity of the rivalry, saying, I think it's because each club represents the entire county. There's only one club in Norfolk and the same goes for Suffolk. The people live up to 40 miles apart, so they don't mingle and they don't have pals that support the other lot. You've got two sets of fans who've never really mingled or mixed with each other and there's no proper friendships. They really do despise each other. Now the next scheduled East Anglian derby is on the 6th of April 2024. Ipswich Town and Norwich drew two all last year just before Christmas. Can Ipswich Town finally win an East Anglian derby? So there is me video about the history of the East Anglian derby. Just some history about the rivalry between the two teams, some facts, some information. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this derby. Do you think it's one of the fiercest in England? Do you think it's one of the best derbies on the calendar? And who do you think is the bigger club? Do you think Ipswich Town are the biggest club? Or do you think Norwich, Norwich City are the bigger club? So this has been History of Football. Thanks to everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel and has been watching my videos recently. It's much appreciated. And I'll catch you all later in the next video, which will be coming out very, very soon.